guys, uh, this time is another unboxing from the Wave 2 of Joan of Arc. Uh, it's Legendary Battles. Legendary Battles is, is a, an expansion that allows you mostly to play the more than two, three, four, even five or six players. So it's really uh, an expansion that uh, allows you to play super big battles, right? For more than four players sometimes. And so it adds new, uh, new minis to, to allow for these big battles and uh, new rules also. And one new type of unit that you will see. So here's the box. Yes, is the back of the box. Where you will see <laughs> what I just told you in, in French and in English. Um, and now let's see what the belly of the monster. <laughs> so we have three boxes inside this this one. Let's first oh four sorry four of them. This is what you have inside. As you can see, we have new cube orders because of course if you play five or six players you need more than what you have in the core box so that comes uh, on top of what you have in the core box here are the two books uh, that you, you usually see so one is in French and one is in English so this one is in English so the new type of unit uh, is the uh, mounted sergeant uh, at, uh, at arms. Yes, 16 of them you have. So you can only find them in the legendary battles box. So this, this is a scenario for two to six players. It's the Battle of Poitiers. It's a huge and famous uh, battle from the Hundred Years' War. And as you can see, the map is humongous. <laughs> you see? There you are. The different colors are the colors for each player to deploy. Then you have the Battle of Agincourt, that, well, probably the most uh, famous battle from me uh, the medieval time. Uh, it's yeah, it's a very famous battle where uh, the bowmen did very very harmed very very much the uh, the French uh, knights. So here's the legendary Agincourt battle. So here's the uh, the deployment. Well, the the map. And now the special rules. I think this one is for four players. Let's I didn't check. Yes, two to four players. Two to four players. Then you have uh, another big battle, uh, the Battle of Formigny, for two to six players also. So you have one scenario from two to four and two scenarios from two to six players. This map is a little smaller than the others, but still big. So again, you have it in French and in English. Let me just show super fast the, the French one. La bataille d'Azincourt, en français, <laughs> très très célèbre. All right, now let's look at the new French words. So, I just unpunched accidentally these ones. So you have new tiles to allow for these bigger battles, right? So yeah, the, these are tiles uh, from the core box that are doubled, and you will need that for the big, big scale battles. And finally, let's look at the, the minis. Let's start with the little box. I'm curious to see what's in the little box. 
Oh yes. So these are new, yeah, new mounted, new mounted knights. So these are not the new kind of units. As you know, in this expansion, you have uh, more units from the core box. So yes, you need more mounted knights, and you have them here. And one new unit uh, that I will show you in particular. So yeah, let's let's put let's put them on. The, of course, they will need to be on a, on a base. I'm not going to put them on a base, or maybe I will, but just these are the ones that you know. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at that. Plenty of bowmen, uh, new peasants, new sergeant at arms. Oh, I'm not going to take them all out. These are uh, pikemen or halberdiers, I'm not sure. Yeah, pikemen, halberdiers are here. These are halberdiers. Uh, what are these? Yeah, these are, mount, uh, these are knights. These are foot knights, and these are crossbowmen. Now, something interesting is this unit. These are uh, the mounted uh, sergeant at arms. So this is the only way, the only place where you can you can have them. Let's put them on the on different angles. So they come by two. So you would have to put two on a, on a base. And you have 16 of them. Of course, the sergeant of arms are very, very powerful. Not as powerful as knights, but still they are definitely uh, elite troops. Elite units. Here you have new trees, new palisades, new uh, stakes, and of course the new cards, unit cards that come with this. And you have the intrigue cards, of course. Battle of Formigny, Battle of uh, Agincourt, Battle of Poitiers, in French and in English. New unit, well, character cards. Level 1 and 2, all the new heroes and the new characters are there. Here. Because you need to have more than uh, the ones from the core box, and it's also a good thing to have them here. Because, of course, if you play more than two players, three, four players, they need to have uh, the unit cards in front of them. So we, we included them in, in, this, in this expansion, which is very useful also. Uh, even when you're two players, that will allow you to have uh, more units more easily. So here you have new bases and different uh, rings, colored rings that you will you will use. So the blue and red come on top, and and the white and black come on top of the ones you had in in the in the, in the core box. And then you have green and yellow for. Uh, when you play up to six players. You have new bases, three, two of them. And I think that's it. Yes, yes, that's it. So lots of material uh, in this box. I haven't, you know, taken them uh, out, but you have lots of them. You have lots, lots and lots of, of minis. So these are for the big scale mini uh, battles. It's called legendary battles and you understand why.